Okay, so this is the setup that I've put together and I've been working with for the past couple of years. This is the setup that I have done tons of experimenting with on just using a couple of different types of mushrooms. And it's what a lot of people call uh, a Martha tent. And it's a tent that most people just use for like uh, starting vegetable seeds uh, microgreens, that kind of stuff. Um, but it works really good for mushroom type stuff because it's got this big old clear tent that fits nice and tight over the top of it. And it's real cheap. You can get one for like 50 bucks or something. And so I've done a lot of experimenting. And when I started out, a lot of what I was doing was just trying to exhaust the CO2, the carbon dioxide, out of the tent by just opening up the door every few hours or so and then like fanning it out either by hand or like holding an electric fan to it it just it wasn't enough uh and i i didn't have it loaded or anything like that w with multiple blocks i'd only have a couple going at a time but i quickly found out that you need to have an efficient method of exhausting out built up co2 and also an efficient way of blasting in oxygen so to begin with of course this thing also needs humidity so what i've done was around the back side here i have what is called a reptile fogger it's it's a humidifier like any other humidifier, the cool thing about this one is that it's got this little attachment at the top that has a hose. And the hose can get piped into any place that you need it to go. So that's why they use it for reptiles, so that they can stick it into a tank and blast humidity in there and keep them comfortable. Well, I'm doing the same thing for my mushrooms. So I cut a little hole in the back of my tent so that tube can go in there and my humidifier runs it doesn't run all the time i've got my humidifier hooked up to a humidity controller made by this company called inkbird tons of people use them for exactly this purpose uh, big growers small growers like me uh, also use it and it's relatively cheap for what it is so that's another thing that you can buy on Amazon, as well as a lot of other places. So this controls your, your humidity. I have it set up so it maxes my humidity at 85% and it clicks on at 75%. So that is constantly going on and off all day. On top of that, we were talking about adding oxygen to your tent. This right here is a very simple and it's slowing down and stopping right now because this is on a timer cycle uh, but this is a um, computer fan essentially another thing that you can buy on Amazon this is a three inch computer fan I have this hooked up to a piece of plexiglass which I have mounted with four screws so that it goes right through the side of the tent through the plastic shelving supports and it is locked on there nice and tight i've used some velcro two-sided velcro tape goes all the way around just to help make an extra good seal around the fan okay i have that fan for blasting oxygen in and down here over on the other side on the bottom i have the exact same fan and it is hooked up the exact same way on a piece of plexiglass mounted the only difference is that you can see i have an exhaust tube just a dryer exhaust tube i think it's a four inch tube but i was able to cram it right over the top of the entire fan housing without anything holding it on there except for the tension of the wiring that's inside the, the uh, exhaust tubing. It runs around the back. 
all the way around the back as you can see there and it goes up to a window right here so right there i just got a small window and i used a piece of plywood drilled a four inch hole through it and put a dryer vent in it and then i just put the exhaust tubing over the dryer vent four inch tubing goes over the four inch dryer vent and that is what i use to exhaust out the co2 both of those fans uh the top one here and the bottom one there they're both set on the same controller so that they go off every five minutes and runs for three minutes that seems to be enough to keep my oxygen levels up my co2 levels down besides that the only other piece of hardware that i have in here is down here at the bottom i have one more fan that i have installed and this is a four inch fan and it is also another one of those computer fans relatively cheap i have that suspended from some zip ties it blows across the bottom of the tent essentially what it's really doing in there is it's maintaining circulation of the air throughout the entire tent so all of the humid air that is in there instead of simply settling it's always moving and getting blown around in there um the other thing that uh that is a benefit for is that if there's any water accumulation on the bottom of my tent as you can see my tent sits inside of a very shallow plastic tray and this tray is a liner for a dog cage so that if your dog leaves some waste in the cage you have an easy way of cleaning it out i just measured it out before i bought it made sure that my tent would fit inside of it so that fan in there is also helping to dry up any moisture that might accumulate down there at the bottom. But that is the entirety of what I do to grow oyster mushrooms and also some lion's mane from time to time. Besides that, I just stick a thermometer in there so that I know what temperature I'm dealing with because my strains of mushrooms will sometimes change throughout the season depending on the warm season or the cold season summer and winter the inside of my tent can get anywhere down to about 58 degrees maybe 57 degrees in the winter time and in the summertime we got a 90 degree day outside right now and uh, we're at like about 77 degrees so, right now inside here i don't have any ac running inside my house here uh at least in this particular room or any adjacent rooms so there's no extra cooling that's going on uh so i just change my strains from season to season based on what i can grow under my current temperatures so hopefully that gives you some insight is it pricey it's not terribly pricey uh the whole thing probably cost me a couple hundred bucks to get all set up uh, when said and done i'd say it's like the humidifier is like 50 bucks controller for it i think it's only like 30 or 40 bucks for the humidifier um i got those two fans doing the exhaust and the intake those are like maybe 20 bucks a piece i think they're even cheaper actually um i've got a timer that controls those which is that little white box that's sitting down there uh, with the red lights on it. I think that was probably less than $30 as well. You know, it was like $50 to $80 maybe for the grow tent. Most of this stuff can all get bought off of Amazon. I pieced it together. Uh, didn't buy it all at once. I've replaced a couple of parts over a couple of years. So, you know, maybe a few hundred bucks altogether. 
you know, uh, but once you get into all this kind of thing, you know, all your other supplies growing, this is, this is just a growing chamber, you know, I mean, over here, I've got petri plates, I've got colonized bags, uh, of sawdust that are ready to fruit, down here I've got colonized bags of grain that are what uh, winds up getting added to the sawdust bags to inoculate those. You know, the petri plates, that's a whole nother story because all of these are separate processes. So, you know, that's all money unto itself. But as far as the growing chamber, this is what I've done. This is what I've got set up over the past couple of years. And this is what has helped me to get things working uh, for me. So I hope it helps you.